But right now, sticking to the same, the main game plan is it's all about getting the water to flow away from the building and around it. And so I want to work on this bank. So let's fire up the excavator and let's peel a, peel a hill back. All right, guys, I got uh, a lot of the slope pulled off the hill and now <clears throat> I'm gonna come in and work it out. I didn't take a lot of time to try to do it real even because the pulverizer will even this out so fast and easy with the tractor. So uh, let me get busy with that. Well guys, let me swing the camera around and show you the progress. So as you saw, I've worked with the excavator and pulled that and then came back with the pulverizer and just evened it out. I took a whole bunch of that slope off and I might even take just a little bit more off through here. Uh, that right there, I've got pulled back pretty good and I might come back here and take another six to eight inches off. But anyway, um, I'm gonna fix it to where when I come through here with the truck. Now this will all eventually be graveled and it'll be graveled all the way up through here and it'll make it where I can come through here and transition with my truck and pull and back and turn trailers around and all that kind of stuff. This afternoon, I was able to get home a little bit early. I was able to make a couple of runs to the rock quarry. So this is, um, I can carry on my trailer five tons, which is 10,000 pounds. You wouldn't think that that that's, would be too small and not be 10,000 pounds, but that's 10,000 pounds of gravel right there, guys. And so I was able to get this load and this load. This is crush and run. So I gonna jump on the tractor, use the pulverizer and the bucket and I'm going to try, see how far this goes, but my main uh, focus is to try to push up and feather this in under the edge of the shed, build this up some, and you know, work all of this in and turn all of this into ground.
So I'm betting money when I first showed you those two piles that were 10,000 pounds of gravel each, y'all probably thought, man, that ain't no way and that ain't gonna go nowhere. But let me show you, once you spread it out, uh, boy, that sure turned pretty. Now again, this is just two loads and I'm planning on putting at least a, one or two more here and then I'll just keep going around and eventually get all this gravel. But you can see how this all is in dirt and then see how nice it looks when you get the crush and run on top of it. And obviously, you know, it's got to do some packing, some raining on it and all that kind of stuff to make it so much nicer. But uh, anyway, that give you an idea of the transformation that's in the process of happening. So hopefully you can see why I am so excited I've been wanting to get this done. I am so sick and tired of having to deal with the mud all winter long. And uh, I'm so just excited to be able to get all of this in gravel to where I'll have all this area around the building to work instead of having to get stuck off and spin up in the mud. And guys, always remember here, Project Next One, there is always one more. So keep looking out for videos as we put them out. I'm trying my best. I'm so busy with work schedule right now with my full-time job. Uh, but I, I was at one point doing a couple videos a week. Now I'm just struggling to get one out a week just because of the hours that I'm having to work on my full-time job. But anyway, I'm working on getting more out. Uh, hope you're enjoying the content. So guys, just remember, uh, check it out and we'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care and we'll see you soon.